What are the effects of geomagnetic activity on human health? What is the KP index? What does it mean? Why should I care? Well, today is October 19th, 2018, 11.35 a.m., and the KP index has been at zero for over 30 hours. We call this on the floor, solar minimum, grand solar minimum. And soon the KP will be on the floor for days at a time, as we predicted. Now, the KP index is the Global Geomagnetic Activity Index, or Planetary Geomagnetic Activity Index, based on three-hour measurements from ground base magnetometers. These are around the world. Each station is calibrated according to its latitude and reports a certain K indice. This would be a geomagnetic storm up at K9. Simple, how to read this. This yellow bar shows KP4, geomagnetic instability, and geomagnetic quiet here at KP3. You can come check out the scale here, the finalized index, and there are dozens of stations that you can locate online to check the KP index around the globe. Now, there are health risks associated with geomagnetic storms. So up in the geomagnetic storm region, KP89, that would be a solar flare risk and geomagnetic storm risk. So these are the health effects. But we are currently in the opposite spectrum. Cosmic ray alert, KP0 for 30 hours, and that's in the center. Acute myocardial infarction, cerebral stroke, terminal arrhythmia, anxiety, stress, emotional instability, cognitive diminution, uptick in traffic accidents and work injuries, suicide risk, mental disorder flare-ups, radiation risk to people flying in high latitudes and towards the poles, enhanced alert for those with ventricular dysfunction or ischemic cardiomyopathy. Do not fly if you don't have to. Now, the CIA studied the impacts of space storms on psychic powers years ago, and this is the first part of the agency's 800-page risk report. And the contents show that decrease in geomagnetic activity, KP0, causes an increase in death-related telepathy. Thank you, Mudrock, for supplying us with this FOIA document. Come check it out. You'll get links to all this below. Space weather, its effects on human health and behavior by a friend of the channel, Sasha Dobler, published in February of this year. Including a paper and a link here by David Hyde and Ben Davidson. Come check it out if you want to be up to date on what is going on in your future. And here is a recent paper, long-term study of heart rate variability responses to changes in the solar and geomagnetic environment. So what we're finding is that geomagnetic activity have broad-based implications on your state of mind and healthfulness. Be safe, everybody.